Hey, I'm Daniel from Ratings.com. All right, so we've bought these two popular 144 Hz gaming monitors, and in this video, we'll be putting them head to head to compare their performance in our testing. We have here the Razer Raptor 27. Although Razer is well known for stylish gaming products, the Raptor is their first foray into monitors. Now this is the LG 27 GL850. If you've seen our review video on it, then you already know why this is so popular among gamers. LG is one of the most well-known brands for monitors, and this model stands out due to its fast panel, which we'll talk about later. In this review, we'll start by comparing the design and inputs of these monitors, and then move on to the picture quality. We'll also look at the motion handling and input lag. If you'd like to skip straight to our test results, then see the links in the description down below. So we'll start with the design. The Razer looks impressive and is extremely well built with a solid stand and a unique RGB lighting feature in the base. It also has thin bezels which look great. You can adjust the height and tilt the monitor up and down, but can't swivel it without moving the base and can't rotate to portrait. The back of the monitor is also very interesting with outstanding cable management as all of the wires can be routed through the back of the stand. This does come with a small downside though, that all of the cables require a 90 degree connector, but thankfully Razer provides everything you need in the box. The back also has a kind of fabric covering, which is nice and feels premium, but unfortunately there's no visa mounting, so you can't remove the stand. So how does it compare to the LG? Well, the LG does have an iconic look, but next to the Razer, some might find it a bit plain, especially as it lacks RGB lighting. The stand supports the monitor well, although it isn't as sturdy as the Razer. Along with moving the display up and down or tilting, the LG can also be rotated to portrait. The LG can also sit a bit closer to a wall due to the smaller stand, or if you want, you can completely remove the stand and visa mount it, which is nice. The build quality definitely doesn't feel as good as the Razer, but it's unlikely to be a problem. Both of these monitors include a similarly sized external power brick, so you'll have to find somewhere to put it. They also both have a fairly similar on-screen interface that can be controlled by a joystick and works well, but on the LG it is on the front under the logo, while for the Razer it's behind the right hand side. Alright, so with that said, let's move on to the picture quality. Both of these monitors have IPS panels with very similar viewing angles. They're both good, so the image remains accurate when viewed at an angle. This is important because when viewing the screen from up close, the sides of the screen remain accurate. Now onto the brightness. A high peak brightness is important for overcoming glare in a room with a lot of light. Both of these monitors have a similar brightness, with the Razer measuring up at about 360 nits across a range of window sizes, while the LG measures about 350. This difference isn't noticeable and could even vary a bit between units. Both of these monitors also support HDR, but we'll talk about their HDR brightness later. Now, also important in a room with a lot of light is the reflection handling. Again, these monitors are neck and neck and offer basically the same anti-reflective coating. They're both a decent choice for a room with quite a bit of light. Now, if you're in a dark room, then a high contrast ratio is important to produce deep blacks. Both of these monitors have IPS panels, and while the Razer has a higher contrast ratio of about 1200 to 1 to the LG 730, it isn't a big difference. Both of these monitors have blacks that appear grey in the dark, which is basically inherent to IPS panels that lack local dimming. Speaking of which, both of these monitors do lack local dimming. Now this isn't a surprise, as local dimming on monitors is few and far between, but if you're after a monitor for a dark room, then you may want to look elsewhere. Now onto the black uniformity. Black uniformity issues present themselves as brighter areas around dark scenes, which is commonly known as backlight bleed or BLB. Both of these monitors we bought have issues, as on the Razer you can see blotches around the screen and glow on the left hand side, and on the LG bleed is especially noticeable in the bottom right hand corner. Do note though that this does vary between units due to tolerances in the manufacturing process, so yours may be different. Let us know in the comments below if you buy one of these monitors and how your black uniformity compares. Now onto the color accuracy. The LG comes factory calibrated with a calibration sheet in the box and we found it to be pretty good. On the other hand, the Razer oversaturates all of the colors. Some people may like this more vivid look, but if you're after accurate colors, then the LG is the way to go. Now, we also perform HDR testing on each monitor. To display HDR content well, a display needs to be able to produce bright and saturated highlights to match as closely as possible to the wider color spaces and specular highlights mastered in HDR content. When sending an HDR signal, the Razer does get a bit brighter at just over 500 nits. 
The LG doesn't get any brighter in HDR, but this isn't a big difference between them as they both can't boost areas of the screen due to the lack of local dimming, so can't really make highlights stand out. Now, as far as the HDR color gamut goes, it's a similar story. The Razer performs a bit better and can produce a bit more saturated colors, but it isn't a big difference between them and the HDR performance is in the same ballpark. So now onto our motion tests. This is where things get really interesting as these are both targeted at gamers. These monitors both have a 144Hz panel, which is great for playing fast-paced games as motion is smooth and the monitors feel responsive. They also both support FreeSync variable refresh rates for tear-free gaming. They're also both NVIDIA G-Sync certified, so while they support the more open FreeSync standard, they've been confirmed by NVIDIA to work out of the box on newer 10 or 20 series NVIDIA graphics cards, and we're able to check this on our GTX 1060. So on to the response time. The response time is the time taken for a display to change pixels from one color to the next. For example, to change between frames. A fast response time reduces the amount of motion blur, which is very important for fast-paced gaming. Here's where the LG stands out, with a much faster IPS panel at about half the response time. This results in clearer motion, which is also visible in our Pursuit Motion photo of the ratings logo. Now, both of these monitors have options to adjust the response time via an overdrive setting, and you can see our full measurements of each setting on the review. These photos were taken at the fastest overdrive setting without adding too much overshoot, with settings of weak on the Raptor and fast on the LG. Now, another advantage of fast refresh rate monitors is they tend to have low input lag, and this is also the case for both of these monitors. They each have an input lag of about 4 milliseconds at 144Hz, which is excellent for fast-paced gaming and feels very responsive. So overall, these are both impressive monitors and could be a great option for gamers. The Razer stands out with its iconic design and build quality, while the LG stands out for its fast panel, which results in excellent motion handling. Overall picture quality between these two is very similar. The best of these really depends on what you care most about and how you plan to use it. And that's it. This is our first direct comparison for monitors, so let us know what you think of it and if we should do more. Also, what do you think of these two monitors and are you going to buy one of them? Let us know down in the comments. As always, you can check out all of our measurements on our website. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified of our upcoming reviews. Also, become an insider on our website for access to our latest measurements first. We're also growing and hiring in our offices in Montreal for various positions, so if you're interested in helping people find the best product for their needs, then check out the careers page on our website. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.